And so we're going to go ahead and do our tech tip of the day, which is uh, how to store your barrel properly um, for more extended times. And so uh, if we're going to do like, you know, you get done hunting, you're going to uh, store it for the year. How do you keep rust out of your barrel is kind of what we're going for. And there's a few different ways you can go about that. Um, I personally have had rust issues. I was keeping my all my guns, including one of my muzzle loaders, in my basement. And typically it's not as humid here, but in my basement it was very humid apparently. And I got <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got a lot of um I had some rust problems that I had to work through. But one thing that I did is I got a dehumidifier and put it down there and that worked really, really well. And mm-hmm. You don't know how humid your air is until you get a dehumidifier and you're pouring out like a cup of water every yeah. day. It's like, man, there's, there's a lot of moisture down here. Yeah. Yeah. But um, that's one thing definitely want to make sure is, you know, you're storing it in a dry environment, whether that's in a gun safe with a dehumidifier or silica packets or whatever you're trying to do to fight that moisture. But that's going to be your your key thing um, as well as oil and, you know, rust prevent. So mm-hmm. a lot of the manufacturers yeah. make r- really good rust prevent stuff. And what I do is uh, you just, you know, clean your gun, get it all nice and, and all the residue out of there, and then just run, you know, a, a rust prevent patch down and, you know, wipe down the outside of the barrel so it's nice and oiled. Um, you yep. can use any other oil as well. Just something to keep, something that's a little bit of a barrier between any of the elements and your, your barrel. So, and I know, Nate, you've had similar experience to me. Oh, yeah. And so <laughs> you want to expand on that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I had mine. Mine was even in my house. wasn't in my basement. So mm. I just had it upstairs and, uh, you know, in a room upstairs. And I don't know what happens up there when I'm not home, but <laughs> sure. apparently it's really humid up there. <laughs> <laughs> Sun hits the roof and it gets hot. And I don't know. But yeah, I, uh, I've had a similar situation where I went in there one day and looked at my rifle and I was just flabbergasted it's like oh man that is not how i take care of my rifles and yeah so uh yeah got a dehumidifier and started just making sure i was oiling really well and 100 mm-hmm. percent took care of yeah. the problem so. and i think i got one thing that i kind of want to mention too is is when you get surface rust because that happens mm-hmm. um you know it's it's something that you know both of us have experienced i'm sure mm-hmm. caleb you've yeah. dealt with it too and um, what is, what's the best way to eliminate that once it's already become a problem? You're like, Oh shoot, you know, now it's great that I know this, but it's too mm-hmm. late. How do I get rid of the surface rust when it's already there? Um, so I, how did you do it on yours? Well, they make some great products out there. You know, uh, before I knew about those great products, I had to figure it out on my own, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just used like a, a porous rag and some, uh, some, just some different products I found. Mm-hmm. I think I used, just a little bit of boar butter worked really well with a porous rag mm, and, sure. and buffed that surface rust right off. But they do make some specially treated pads specifically for that reason that you can mm-hmm. buy. And yeah, those I've also used those uh, recently and those work yeah. fantastic. Awesome. Yeah, that's good information too because, you know, that it does happen. You know, sometimes you have to know how to get rid of that. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed our conversation regarding proper muzzleloader storage. And if you want to check out the full episode, then listen to the Muzzle Loaders podcast, which is available on all major podcast platforms.